<clears throat> Hello, everybody. It's your old friends of Nerd Wars, and welcome back to the <laughs> hey. gallery. Hello, how do you do? See, that's the that, that that that's the mark of a, a professional who knows that, that he needs to edit point after five minutes of fucking rambling. And um, so, uh, I am joined by my. Oh, wait, we editing all that out? Oh. no, absolutely oh, not. Then, good. Yes, For fuck's yeah. sake! I was just about um, to say, fucking wait, where the fuck did I get that? <laughs> it's a little tiny violin. <laughs> Oh my I, god! <laughs> so oh my you god. can't just fucking start the video like that. Like, don't, don't you ever play from the world's tightest violin? Oh my god! I didn't know I had this. Just have people perplexed, just like, what the fuck is going I'm on? I'm perplexed. Here? Where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> yeah, I know big words. Fuck I up. didn't buy this. Did I? Why? Do you want us to start again, Dennis, or will we just kind no, of... No, I'm just going to put it here and assume okay. it's going to appear at the bottom of my bed and kill me tonight. Okay, that's cool. That's grand. Looks like a little tiny fiddler. <laughs> Is that missed? <laughs> Wait, it's going to appear at the bottom of my bed. <laughs> I didn't realise it played the violin, but yeah, whatever <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I think a, I'm, I really think I'm out of beside the violin. You know you're in trouble. <laughs> I, I think I'm out of his age of preference. Yeah, I think you're clear. I think you're, clear. <laughs> you're kind of double his uh, his his uh, his preferred choice. <clears throat> right, so. Double, Jesus. I'm doing you. Yeah, I'm doing you a credit there. <laughs> I was about to say thank you. You're welcome. You don't look it. Double. Uh, I so... mean, I don't. I I don't feel twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh dear anyway so exactly <laughs> anyway so we are back in the game gallery and it's we've just finished watching police thoughts again lads you, you, you thoroughly enjoyed it i know you did um but uh nevertheless we are uh about I to was... pick the next game go for it no no stop yourself yeah the, the think before it, you speak it would yep. warrant a fucking bleep that's why no, 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 no. Yes, it would. I was just going to make Jonathan's life a misery, and I don't want to do that. I'm no. trying to be a new me. That's good. <laughs> what a welcome change of pace. <laughs> Give him five seconds, he's going to change his mind. He's going to try exactly. Ruin, yeah, yeah. That's ruin it. Jonathan's <laughs> continuity completely. Yes. <laughs> like, you know. be, to be fair, I kind of set that up, waiting for you to ruin my continuity. <laughs> you, you actually missed your fucking chance, Dennis. So. Or has Anyways. Been. Or has he? Yeah, exactly. So anyway, as this is coming out, we have finished watching Police Knots. There, take that. And uh, it is now time for you guys to pick your next um, as a war adventures on the game gallery. Now, seeing as a new year and uh, as a few kind of as a war like things to make my life easier, I thought we'd throw in a little gimmick because I know you guys love gimmicks. Um, so I'm going to throw in a little gimmick for to help uh, pick your next games because Seeing that the last few times you've been kind of doing like kind of games in kind of sets of three, basically, because we did like I picked one, you guys picked one, all that sort of stuff. So we're going to do something similar here, um, except I have this very fancy, uh, well, I don't want to say it's exactly like Jeopardy, but it's a Jeopardy template that I've adapted for this exact purpose. So, so what I've done is, right, welcome to the new and improved game gallery. What you see here is uh, a key, a little as it were, keywords for the collection of three games in around each one. Does it, the word you see on in, in, in front of you is a clue to this, the, the, as it were, the set of three games that could be selected. So have a look around, see what you think, and uh, yourself, Dennis and Foxy, you go bet, both get to pick one, and whichever one you, whichever collection you prefer is what we play next. Ooh. 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 I'm worried Dennis has been trapped. Oh, he's fine now. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? That violin seems to have got, got you hooked. I didn't even read these. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> <laughs> You're a clue to what the game series is. <clears throat> each, All right. Each, 
each one of these is a collection of three games that we're going to be playing next. It, the the key word is what is the kind of the clue to the to the to the to the as a war trilogy. So, so liquid is obviously about and eh, not necessarily because leisure it suit solid Larry day. or leisure suit Larry. But so could solid. Solid could be about leisure suit Larry as well. Well, it could be Mel Gear Solid. All, these are all clues to what's um to to this to whatever we'll be playing next. Mascot could be Leisure Suit Larry. Goat could be Leisure Suit Larry. I fucking hope not. For the goat's sake, more than anything else. <laughs> and it says the things for goats. Well, I am the fucking goat. So so yeah, so you guys get to pick could get to pick one. I'll show. I'll reveal what's behind. As a word, that particular screen. All and right. Then you guys, who's who's like, going first? You know, oh, bitch yeah. face. Who's going Go first? first? Go first. Who? You. Me. I barely even know where I am. What? I know. Um, That's why. Right. I'm gonna go with fucking yikes. Yikes. Okay. You're gonna go with yikes. Now we'll say he's both get it. I don't uh, actually know. I don't actually know why I'm just fucking going with yikes. It was literally in my eye line. I'm gonna go with it. All right. <clears throat> so yikes is uh, is your pick, um, Foxy. How about yourself? Mm, it's not gonna be the obvious, but fucking, I'm gonna try emerald. Emerald. Okay, interesting. Right. So, and I should say, you both get a collective veto if you're not happy with your collection. You can go back to the board if you want to, but uh, it's only the one between you. So choose wisely. So mm. we'll start off then with Dennis, because you pick you called first. So you went with yikes. And much like the, the current, <clears throat> as it were, terminology for yikes, you know, it's normally a sign of something that's problematic or slightly mm -hmm. concerning or slightly out of date. Mm -hmm. So what I picked is a collection of three problematic games. Oh, shit. This sounds right up my fucking alley. Yes. So <laughs> that are either infamous for being particularly bad or controversial. Oh, or I... I... I'm definitely not going to be vetoing this. This sounds fucking brilliant. <laughs> I'm fucking delighted. Done. I think I, I, if I'm reviewing the, the 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 board again, Dennis has actually found the outright collection of the three worst games on the on behind Fuck the screen. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about, baby. <laughs> but there's, there's some games that like there are some collections that are outright they're they're quite bad as well. But this one is 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 what I would consider oh, to be the three. Fuck yeah! Here we go. So, so let's see what's behind what's in the collection. Come on, awfulness. Okay. First one is a game called Spud. Okay, it looks terrible. Space Second Adventure one. also looks terrible. And Night Oh Trap. my god, it's Night Trap! <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, it, so again, presuming that we're not doing a veto here, we, you can do a veto afterwards when we're picking whichever collection we want. But Spud is a game made in the U made in the UK. I cannot go into details yet why it's problematic. However, I will say it's a fish it's actually a Christmas game. But it was the most beautifully crafted graphic adventure game of the year according to nobody. I I will uh, after playing it already oh. I can tell you it really fucking isn't. Um, That's a really worrying <laughs> statement right there. Spud only looks like a kid's game. That's a worrying fucking <laughs> that's 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 a yeah that's that's a troublesome well, you're yeah. gonna have to give me something if I'm gonna have to pick one of these. I because I, I, no, I I'm not this, familiar with Spud. This is the set of three that we'll be playing. So you guys get the you get oh, the, we just be picking the three. Oh fuck, dude, this is the winner. Fuck you, Foxy. <laughs> so 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 Spud is will be now again. Some collections we have to play them in a certain order. This is kind of like dealer's choice essentially, whichever ones you want to, to 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 watch first. Does it feature any isms? Yes. Oh yeah. So it does, um, and that's the that's what that's the problematic part of the game. Also, that and look <laughs> terrible. It's actually genuinely one of the worst games I've ever seen in terms of it, like it does graphic. like um, UK. Of course, it's gonna be yeah. <laughs> the, these these baddies in the back and even Spud himself, they just what year was this? Uh, I want to say nineteen ninety three. Which this is, is like Def Leppard fucking graphics, that, like from that, the video. Yeah, that that's that's worrying. Um, mm. like I just for sorry, um, just play save me for one second, please, mm -hmm. and just let me just check. Um, 
something here very, very quickly. Uh, 93, you said, yeah? I think it's 93. I could be wrong. I'm trying to find... Uh... In, in, or, in or around? Actually, I'm completely off. It's actually 1996. Oh, my God. That's worse. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Sorry, but just bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, and just to show you okay how, like... so can i just say right in 1996 okay we had just just to give you an idea mm -hmm. of the biggest games of 96 we had super mario 64 mm -hmm. we had command and conquer red alert oh yeah we had mario kart 64 we had tomb raider twisted mm -hmm. metal 2 even look at twisted metal 2 graphically Towards just what that cover showing us, we had Donkey Kong Country, fucking hell. Mm. Resident Evil was out. Pokemon Red, Blue, Duke Nukem, Metal Slug, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, Crash and... Bandicoot was out in '96. Broken and... Sword. Yeah. So this so Shadow this of the Te awesome Shadow game. of the Templars. Yeah. Was out. Parappa Rapper, Blood Omen, one of my favorites of all time. Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain. Nice. Um, Street Fighter Alpha, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, blah, 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 blah. Man, it's just, this is worrying. Okay, go on. Sorry, so, I just needed so to check that for... for no, no, you're absolutely right. Unlike, like, yeah. so Space Adventure, the cover looks passable. I can, like, I, that could fool me as a kid, that, that cover. The cover for Spud so, could not fucking fool me. Okay, so... Um, yeah, exactly. It's 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 not there now. Space Adventure Cobra is a game for the Sega CD. Has a bit of voice acting. It's uh, ported from Japan for the US markets, but it is. Um, I think like this would be like you have to be a really fucking strong into your uh, I I I um into your Japanese culture if you knew about this one. This is an actual genuine um franchise in Japan. Um, I believe it's still called... uh not anymore. I don't think. Um, I think it started off as a manga. And uh, an anime series, like there's a few like movies to go along with this. Oh, this okay, so quite popular. Okay, of of the of the series called Space Adventure Cobra. Basically, you have a bounty hunter called Cobra, but he started off. I think that the origin is that he started off as just a general general kind of like sexually deprived salary man, and he basically got whisked away and became a space pirate. I was it was described to me as kind of a Japanese equivalent to Mr. Ben or James Bond. It's very male power fantasy wish fulfillment. Oh, okay, it's very I, I'm a spy. Fuck yeah, me. So it's it's yeah. Insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Pirates and it's like <clears throat> like badly like dress women and all this sort of listen, stuff. Listen, you had me at misogyny. I want that shit. Yeah. So this is so this covers <laughs> the sexism, if you like. Yeah. Um, Fuck yeah. 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 That's what we're missing. Yeah. But like yeah, so it's think of it as like a really sleazy Japanese James Bond, Um, that's kind of it. And again, there's there's um the game is pretty much uh I think it's supposed to be like a kind of encompassing of the first two manga movies. I think could be wrong okay. with that, but I think it's supposed to be a combination. Uh, of the two. Style of game, um, it's a visual novel, so it'll be like something like uh, Snatcher, um, so it's all text based, um, and it's gonna be I will say because uh, I've seen this game, it's gonna be hard to follow because they don't actually say who's talking. It's a just the quirk of how it was translated. But Style cool. of game for Spud? Uh, that is a first-person point-to-click adventure game. So think think like a point-to-click adventure, but done on the Doom engine. Yeah. Oh no. Uh... Oh no, that sounds awful. I would. I, I looking at it for some reason. I instantly thought platformer. <laughs> yeah. But... No, no, it's not. It's not a platformer. <clears throat> it is like a. It is like a, <clears throat> a, a, a like Doom style um FMV point-to-click game, and okay. again. What makes it funnier is the blurb at the end of the Spud uh, like box. Spud stands head and shoulders above such games as Mist. 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 Fucking Mist. Yeah. No, just... <clears throat> was it was this one of those reviewers who was like, "But there's nothing to do in Mist." Yeah, just, I think like, yeah. didn't know what to fucking do. <laughs> you know. Honestly, they told me that the, the creators of the Spud just basically paid off that editor in like blackjack and hookers. You could you probably get that line just about. Um, yeah, because it's it's, it's from like a relatively reputable magazine. It's from PC Gamer. Yeah, which is a yeah okay. Anyway, um, yeah, and well, and then, Night Trap doesn't need an introduction. Night Trap is <clears> legendary. It's legendary. Yeah, like it's a it it is it is that type of game that really it's the it was the alarmist. Like it is the literal yikes. Of like every kind of like you oh, know, fucking 
politician. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's probably not as bad as, as how it was built up. In the oh, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. If anything, it's probably the it's the actual the softer of the three in this collection, which is ironic because it's kind of seen as the kind of the, the bogeyman for like there's all mean evil games that are trying to all this stuff. It is just a goofy fucking game when you actually play it back. Oh yeah. And try it out. So it is certainly um out of the three, it's the goofiest, but it's also the most infamous. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd call it infamous. I don't think I'd call it... I don't think it's overly problematic, unless I'm forgetting. I don't think oh, it was. Shit. A lot of it was, it was implied. I think it was... Implied. Yeah, in it, the it was what's... pearl clutching, but I don't think it was actually... Like, if we look at it with today's eyes, I don't think it was that bad. I don't yeah, think. I, I would I would agree with you on that. <clears throat> I think especially considering that like they made really like they exaggerated the the supposed like whatever supposedly happens in it for as a, for as you said for pearl clutching sake essentially. Yeah, yeah. So I'm so, yeah. delighted with them. Delighted with them. Okay, so Dennis is happy with his his set of three then. So let's look at what Foxy picked then. So you went with Emerald, if I'm right in saying. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just well, Foxy. Like- Pokemon Emerald. There's like fuck well, the review on that shit. <laughs> well, he picked the wrong category in that case because um Emerald, um, as the name implies, well again, so Dennis got what he it's wanted with Sonic. Um no, it's not Sonic, actually, no. Um think Emerald for the Emerald Isle. So what you've actually picked are three games that are set in Ireland. Ah! Oh my god, if one of them is fucking hurling. <laughs> Not Harlem. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> the first one is Wait. Undying by Clive Barker. Ooh. Second one is the PS3. I game played game. that game. <laughs> played and the that last game. one is If Found. I so, played folklore. Yeah, so you so you're aware of it. You know that it's like very much into uh as a word the kind of the, the Irish fairy. Mythology. Irish myth it's yeah, all it's not. Fairy. It's it, if I remember correctly, I don't think it's terrible. No, nope, it's supposed to be quite good. Uh, quite underrated. Um, it's a pretty, yeah. pretty decent game. I remember. I, I had an ex who played it nonstop, because um, mm. it was an early title for PS3, I think. Um, yes, it would have been out in two thousand seven. So one of the yeah. kind of like very early um, games. But uh, I, I remember. I, I didn't. I played it, but I didn't. I didn't like finish it through. I remember playing a little bit. She played a lot more of it, but um, it was. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I I thought it was a decent game. Yeah, yep. It is actually set in uh, the, the if we're starting with folklore itself first. Uh, folklore is actually set in Doolin. In yeah, uh, it's in, is it Clare or is it? I can't remember. Um, but it's it's a real town. Just in case anyone is 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 not familiar, but it is set in Doolin, and then it has kind of more fantastical kind of like Celtic Netherworld regions as well as part of it. And again, it's all basically about like Celtic and Irish mythology. The main character is is Ellen. And we have a journal. The, the 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 male lead there is Keats, and it is essentially just played through uh, a kind of like a mystical, like crazy story with like uh, kind of like Celtic druidic monsters and stuff like that. It's kind of like a I don't really describe it. Kind of like a, like a uh, like it's not quite a Devil May Cry ish kind of game. It's more like a it's very action RPG ish. I think it's probably the, the best way of, of kind of explaining it. Um, and it's kind of has a kind of a co op aspect to it as well. If you wanted to go down that way, yeah. Um, but yeah, the story is all about that. Um, it kind of uses because it's a release title for the PS3. It had that kind of six axis mobility as well. So it would be yep. interesting enough to think to play uh, and see how that goes. And again, we will go into the story as we're playing it. Um, if we choose to start with that, the other game then uh, we'll start off then with Clyde Barker's Undying. So. Clyde Barker, who is well known for the Hellraiser series, has made a couple of games. Um, one of all them is been Undying. Awful. Another one was Jericho. They've all been awful, and I can tell you that Undying <laughs> will, will be no different than that. Um, considering I have played a certain Jer- bit of Undying. Jericho? Yeah. Have you played Jericho? That's fucking terrible. I have not played Jericho, and I don't intend to, because um, it's awful. Um, <laughs> but with Undying, I played a couple of hours of it, and I genuinely got bored. Um, very it's little in it. Games. Of course it's going to be boring. Well, it's 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 it, this is when EA Games were actually publishing things that weren't FIFA as well. Let's be fair. Mm-hmm. This is when they actually were public. This is around the era where they were publishing Medal of Honor and a couple of other genuinely good. Titles. They were trying to branch out. Yeah, they were trying yeah, to do their exactly. shit. Yeah, they, they had not quite gotten <clears throat> into sports games kind of um, monopoly they have now. So to fill you in, um, Clyde Barker is undying by Clyde Barker, and um, written and produced by Clyde Barker. 
written by Clive Barker, um, is basically said in the 1920s. Fucking Barker, one more fucking time. I'm going to scream. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's said in the 1920s Ireland. Um, to be precise, uh, it's meant the best to be... time in Ireland. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely there. nothing bad happening then. It's not. It's not set in like a specific location. It just says the west of Ireland on an island. So, like. We would know, like local geography. Is he meant to mean Inish more? Is he talking about the Yakima? Yeah, has to be. You know, it has to be one of the Inishes, right? Doesn't it? I, I would, I would take it has to be like Inish, Inish more, Inish Biog. It has to be. I, I would take it from plain. <clears throat> I think he means Inish Biog, but I don't like. He doesn't actually make any specifics to it because okay. I think like, unspecified enough. Ireland, right? Okay, exactly. Yeah, but it's on the west coast. It's in a manner. Basically, a friend of his has gone missing, and the whole kind of like his massive manor is haunted by ghosts. Uh, and style of game, a uh, shooter. It's a first person shooter. Oh, okay. Uh, he, you, Clive think, Barker, does love his fucking first person shooters. Okay. Yeah, like think <clears> of it. <throat> in the, like it, it wasn't too far away from when Half Life was was put out, so it's oh, kind of done in a similar no. style okay. to Half Life. But it's right. actually been it's actually out in the Unreal Engine, so I guess more realistic to call it kind of more like a Quake clone. If I mm. if I can be dramatic with that, yeah. Um, so yeah, so basically, it's all about um, like I will I will say the only thing really kind of Irish <clears throat> about in Ireland. There's no real kind of like I the, even the main character is not even Irish himself. I think he's English, or at least he, he's 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 uh, an English voice actor. Are we going to get? Because I I'm pretty certain if now it is years ago, but I'm pretty certain in folklore there's terrible Irish accents. I'm pretty you know I, that's, yeah, I, um, I want that in my Irish game. I want terrible terrible Irish accents. Yeah, no, that's dead on. Um, and I think that's the uh, that was very, very, very much. Oh, to the Tura Lura, we go and I down the to have some. We go potato. and we get some of the rashers and the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So <clears throat> now the one on the right hand side, if found, is by far the most recent game of the three. I was going to say this looks definitely like an indie fucking, yeah, definitely an indie, an indie rific title. It is an indie rific title. It's actually pul- published by Anna Perna. <clears throat> Um, so it's one of their ones, and it's a, it's very much one of their kind of, uh, I guess you would kind of like crowning achievements. So it's all set in Ireland. It's all set in, um, uh, I think it's Ackle Island. I think it's set in. Yeah, I think it's Ackle Island. Um, it's a very diverse cast for Ackle Island. Well, this is the this is the, <laughs> because the designer of the game is Laura McGee. Um, she is a trans woman who, uh, and basically this game is kind of like it, it's 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 feature, the main character is trans herself. And basically, the kind of premise is that, like, um, uh, the the main character is called Cassiopeia. She went to Dublin, and in the time she had transitioned from male to female and came back home. And it was a shit name. Sorry. No, yeah, it's why couldn't you just why couldn't you just call yourself Laura? Why not? Why why Cassio fucking Pia? Anyway, yeah, well, yeah, like I said, continue (laughs) short of the Cassio. Um, but That's um, but it's, set, it's, it's set in the 90s, in 1993, um, and a lot of it is about the kind of different relationships of like other like kind of uh of other characters as well. So we have a gay couple, we have a non-binary, and again they're kind of like trying to <clears throat> shall we say, like trying to discover themselves and trying to identify themselves in a time where there just genuinely wasn't anything like that at the time, especially well, in a rural uh, uh, community. I'm interesting yeah. how that would take on it because. As somebody who lived through that time in Ireland, hmm. that while it, it like now, don't get me wrong, it was a thing. It's always hmm. been a thing. I get that, yes. but you can't pretend that they knew what it was because we didn't know what it was. We didn't, exactly. So like, like the, because the terminology wasn't there, the actual definition. No, no. yeah, exactly. We didn't so, even, like yeah. let alone fucking complex gender uh, norms, etc. We didn't even mm. fucking know autism was fucking a thing. Uh, exactly. So I mean, like it, it would depend how she, how how, and I don't know the game, but it would depend. Like if this if this goes back and it's like, oh well, I'm clearly non-binary and I identify by the. It's like no, no, that's completely wrong because no, no. Yeah. we didn't know that was a thing. So. We exactly. know it's a thing now, but then we didn't. So we would not have pronouns like that then. Mm. You know, we wouldn't it, we wouldn't alter pronouns in the nineties because that's just not how it operated in the nineties. Incorrectly, mm. again, we know that different now because we like have a better if you understanding it, of it, but 
if you based it today, then absolutely not problem whatsoever. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because you're dating it by putting it in the nineties, you you've automatically. I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm interested to see what they what they would do with it. And as long as they don't go down the route of saying like, you know, pretending that everybody knew it or that people were people knew what it was and were like wrong against it or something like that is incorrect because frankly people just did not know what it was people did not know that you could be fluid or you could be you know mm. identify as it it's not like they thought ah jeez you just shut the fuck up will you fucking yeah it's usual kind of like ah, go, on, go, yeah. go to mass or something cop yourself on will you stop crying yeah. you're a fucking man like yeah it's 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 incorrect again but like that's also how it was so yeah you, you can't deny what it was yeah. so don't exactly. as long as it doesn't pretend that it was something that it wasn't i'm good no i, I can say I, I played this game and i absolutely love it i think it's it's genuinely brilliant objectively brilliant uh, game it's it, now it's a visual novel it practically kind of plays you're you're basically the kind of gameplay you have is trying to like is kind of piecing to get the, the the story together or trying to like find his little kind of plot tangent and stuff like that. So it's kind of like in a way the gameplay is trying to find out more of the actual story and more and delve deeper into the characters and the kind of the, the scenes that they're 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 trying to piece together. And how does it broach it? Does it broach it correctly? Yes. 100 okay. percent Okay. Um, if anything, actually again I would consider if found to be the most Irish game of the three. And the reason being is that um look it's it's written by an Irish person, which always helps. Um, and yeah. but it, it's written in an Irish style as well. It's like, it's written as we would say it. Um, not like, you know, and there's no voice actor or anything like that. It's just a really fucking beautiful soundtrack, beautiful art style, so unique. I've never played a game like it before um, in terms of the art style. It's all very hand-drawn. It's all very abstract, metaphorical. See, uh, yeah, it is just, it is, honestly, it is, in. it's very intriguing to me because even like looking at the artwork, I'm seeing like, you know, uh, who is, Probably it, the gay the gay couple with their arms around it, yeah. like it's an again, art style in, in, the, in the 90s. In the 90s, while while it existed, mm, I, I, I didn't see anybody going around with their arms around each other or holding hands or anything like that. Yeah. And I had <laughs> and, and I had I had friends in the 90s who later came out as gay, but they were not mm. fucking comfortable enough to come out as gay in the 90s. Yeah, it's like so. Like again, the story will will kind of go into into that in in in, in a certain um, certain aspects. Um, but basically, the the story is about is follows Cassio, supporting characters there you have, and how they are kind of like basically the, how they kind of mingle together because Cassio is a, Cassio is a is a runaway from home, and she basically moves in then with uh, with with these three uh, here. And basically how that kind of story unfolds from from that point on. And the the one of my one of the selling points. I would say about the game is that it explains all the Irishisms in the dialogue or in the uh, in text. So because like it's a game that's supposed to be published for the wider world, like say if there's a really Irish term like rashers, for example, there's a little appendix you click on it and it tells you what rashers. Ah, uh, that's kind of funny. Okay, I like that. <laughs> and same way that like it explains who Bosco is. It explains the late like late toy show. I like that. That's a nice touch. I like that. Yeah. So, so that's the game. It's it's a it's a really beautiful game. It's it's short and sweet, and it's I, I think it's just objectively brilliant. Um, and again, it's a it's a very genuine story with an emotional punch, and and uh, and it feels very true to life because again, like the 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 the, the designer of the game, Laura McGee, had these personal experiences herself. It's not autobiographical by any stretch of the imagination, but it's similar kind of emotions she would have went through as well, especially um, trying to like kind of transition at a time when that was completely unheard of, you know, or we didn't know what how to handle it. At least it's a bit... Wait, did she try and transition in the 90s? I believe so, yeah. Or, or certainly... Fair uh, fucking play to her. Jesus. Yeah. So, Fair so, yeah, that's... Play. That that's the that's the that's the that's the pitch anyway. So, do you have Clive Barker's Undying, Folklore, and If Found as our Irish trilogy? Now, gentlemen, the kicker is, right? Now, again, you both are entitled to a collective veto here if you wanted to reshuffle your pack and, and get a different set. But you have to choose between those two. Yikes! Now I'm all up for if if Foxy wants to reshuffle his, I'm up for. It. I ain't reshuffling. Yikes! Yikes is good. So Dennis is sticking with yikes. Do you want to? Do you want to change your pick, Foxy? Yeah, it depends what Foxy's feelings on his on his pick are because it was his pick. So I, I mm. think I'll reshuffle my pick. Okay. I I, I I I can. 
I'm I'm okay with going in on a veto on that. All right, then. So we're going to veto Emerald for now. Um, so we'll go back to the board then and see what else uh, Foxy I picks. think for me, there's a risk of there being too many good games in that choice. <laughs> that is always the kicker, isn't it? Um... <laughs> like, I had a first-person shooter, a fucking hack and slash, and a visual novel. Yeah, yeah, like... yeah we can we can do Wait, better. See, I have been I have been tactical and trying to go for for games that I think are a good watch as well and and mm. to a certain extent they have a kind of common thread. So we're back to the board. We know that Dennis has picked the Ike. You know what's an emerald. So uh, go again. See see what uh, tickles your fancy. This is your last your last chance, Foxman. Okay. That's it. And then you're you're locked in. Then we have to, you have to pick between the two two collections. <laughs> um. See, I'm also trying to think of like Johnson's line of thinking for <clears throat> for what he would like use and like oh you bastard you'll do no this. bother. I guarantee you he has some clues like you know um like uh his clue would be like oh she fell and got her trousers damp didn't she what celebrity am I thinking of and it's wet knee Houston. Like he's he's gonna be fucking stupid fucking <laughs> it's gonna be really fucking stupid fucking clues. Stupid okay. uh... All right, yeah. Well, like some of them some of them are, are, are more obvious than they look and some of them are a bit more obtuse. Watch it be like like you'll pick blue and he'd be like, Well, this is actually game set in France because as we all know, the band Eiffel sixty five wrote the song Blue, Dabba Dee Daddy Eiffel is an Eiffel Tower, that's in France. Here are games set in France. Fucking watch it happen. I fucking guarantee you. <laughs> How did you know that was behind? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Foxy. No, that was behind curtain number one. <laughs> Don't look at the but man behind the curtain. If you pick like return, if you pick return, it's going to be all like McDonald's sponsored games because the song <laughs> Return Return of the Mac In sounds Mac. like McDonald's. And McDonald's made certain games. And here you go. Fuck you, Jonathan. Fuck you. <laughs> I thought you liked your collection. <laughs> I do. My one made sense, at least. I'll give that then one. Keep your fucking mouth shut. <laughs> <and your coffee. laughs> like, now, I'm not picking it, but like, can you pronounce the, the one besides solid? Yeah, it's VL. It is the French for old. You're a fucking wanker. He, he could have just said old, but he said no. VL. Just let that yeah. let that sink in on what kind of a person Jonathan is, everybody. But why why did <laughs> I pick French for old? He could have just said let old. That's not <laughs> the French old. for old, Dennis. Because then it would just be called old, and that wouldn't make fucking sense. Right. Let bitch. <laughs> Okay, he's doing flip points here. For a choice of 30, is going to be interesting. No, he's narrowed down to two. He's narrowed he has, down yeah. to two, and he's he's thinking on it. Listen to your penis. <laughs> what, the blood? <laughs> the blood pumping? <laughs> uh, fuck, yeah, go, go blood. Blood. Okay. That's it. He listened to his penis. His penis made the decision. Swing. Well, look, somebody had to take control. Right. Um, let's see. So... Let's see what fucking stupid fucking thing, Jonathan. This is not going to be in hack and slash. It's going to be these are games that feature ketchup, which we all know looks like blood. Hey, <laughs> if it turns out to be blood almond, you'd be fucking tanking me. We're going to be <laughs> we're going to be playing Cooking Mama one, two, and three. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be to be to be quite precise, um, what Foxy has unearthed is uh, some classic horror games. Woo! Oh, oh, so we, have we have a challenger. We have a challenger. More specifically, classic horror action games. Ooh. So, in the collection of Blood, because again, gonna it's, be tough. it's going to be tough to beat fucking Night Trap. Okay, first up, and again, these can be played in no particular order. The first Silent Hill game. Oh, oh, the first Resident Evil game. Oh, oh, Jill Sandwich. And Parasite Eve. Ooh. Oh, they are brilliant. Like, now again, these are 
these are probably games you have played before. So yeah. if you want to doing, doing yikes, you can experience them. Whereas you're just going to be seeing me play through these three games. So this I don't know. That's... Suddenly, this suddenly got hard. Mm. I had a feeling that this would throw you off, though. All classics. All classics, but again, games you have more than likely played already. So again, think it. I mean, consider... and all objectively bad in certain ways. Yeah. Uh, dated like, is perhaps the best way. Yeah, of doing it. they're dated. I, um, I, I don't. I think it's going to be a case of like, right? Yes, we have played these before, but also the infuriating part of watching through these will be watching you play through it and mm. instantly giving out because you didn't do something right. That's, That's if Jonathan will ever stop using fucking walkthroughs. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do try and play these games as blind as I can. Now but, you see, uh, and and folks, just so you know, at home as well, this is I've been, I've been saying this from the get go. I want Jonathan to play these live. I mm. I don't want pre recording. I want him to actually play this shit live and get frustrated live. That's what I want. I, I think mean, it'll be funnier. I introduce the channel Monday Madness, where that happens literally all the fucking time. <laughs> I can, I can. I, could I interest you in fucking putting some effort into this channel the way you do in Madness, <laughs> and like, and maybe oh. doing it there. <laughs> Well, Dennis, uh, remember, we're the side bitch anyway, remember. Yeah, you're the side bitch. Know your fucking place. <laughs> so, like, you know, maybe fucking put some heart into this one, you know? Maybe maybe yeah. we want to do it more maybe. often, you know? Yeah, maybe we want, actually. <laughs> um, so, so that, so I, want you, I want you to play it live. What are chances of you playing to any of these live? I have Silent Hill and Resident Evil. I have the Source Parasite Eve, but they... Like, I've, no, I've played them live, for sure, yeah. No, I don't know if I've played them... I'll certainly do the playthrough of it, but in terms of like logistics, I'll need to 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 pre-record. That's just I, that's no, a, unfortunately. no, you won't need to. No, why? Why would you need to play? Why would you need to pre-record? Because I have a shit ton on my desk, Dennis, and I need to fucking pre-record this. That's how no, it works. Oh, you don't need to pre-record. You, you guys think a lot more editing than the fucking Madness Crew does. I wonder I why. Believe in you. I, I, well, because I they're. Uh, do, you, do you want me to tell you why? Because they're not fucking entertaining, right? So, um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway, so make your choice then. So, are we going with Foxy's second choice here, or are we sticking with the problematic trio? What do we think, gentlemen? It's a tough one. Do you know what? If I think about it too much, I keep flicking back and forth. So I'm going to go with my gut straight off the bat because I don't want to waste too much time because, yeah, because um, uh, yeah, um, I am going to go with my gut. I'm going to go with yikes. You're you're sticking with your yikes. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, if I think about it too much, I keep flicking between both. I'm I'm putting it down now. And even if I say I change my mind, I don't. It's going with yikes. Yikes. Right. yikes, yikes okay. Yikes. So. I am willing and open to debate from Foxy, however. Mm-hmm. If he decides to pick the other one, I'm assuming you're going to be a tiebreaker, are you, or are we going to hash it out? No, you, you, it's it's up to you guys. To, that, to okay. work. I'm to open to a thing. conversation if Foxy really thinks the other one, but I'm going with my gut right now. <clears> so, <throat> in turn, like obviously, like like we've all played like the majority, like the majority of the tree that I have. I here. played them all. Yep. Um. Like I've only played Sound Hill. And... I don't know if I've I don't know if I cleared Parasite Eve, but Parasite Eve is by far the longer of the three. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I've cleared that one. I played it. I don't know if I've cleared it. I cleared the other two. Uh, I'm um, thinking that I have in watched in time. in depth retrospectives from uh, your favorite son, um, mm. and probably actually just your favorite son, who yeah, is he does a great. By the way, if you're watching this, fucking subscribe to your favorite son. He's fucking amazing. Mm. Um, on, I think it was on possibly all three of them. No, uh, he did Parasite Eve, that's for sure, and Silent Hill. Oh, okay, so it's Parasite Eve. Yeah, they're the two I watched from him. Silent Hill, I probably watched somebody else. Or no, sorry, Resident Evil, I probably watched somebody else. Ah, I did. I watched somebody else do a full retrospective on all the Resident Evil. Avalanche reviews. Uh, yeah, on the full story of Resident Evil, it was. Um, so he did review that. But yes, your favorite son, I watched the full in-depth thing of Parasite Eve uh, and Silent Hill. I've cleared Silent Hill myself. I've played Parasite Eve, but never cleared it, so yeah. So I'm I'm thinking like in terms of the the time it takes to actually like finish the game if you were to play through them, like Resident Evil is only like I think two hours, two and a half. 
if you read Petra. Silent Hill isn't too far Silent off. Hill isn't too far off that as well. Now, uh, again, I can say I can say Silent Hill if you know what you're fucking doing. True. Yeah. True. Now I, right. I will say from experience, I know for certain that Night Trap is a very quick game. So is Spud. Cobra is probably the longest. See, that's kind of part of why I wanted to do a little bit of a live playthrough on the Yikes mm. ones is because I reckon they'll be quick. I reckon they'll be snappy. I reckon they'll be funny as fuck. I reckon the Night Trap ones especially will be funny as fuck. Like, well, without a walkthrough and with a live playthrough, and I think mm. they'll be snappy. I obviously understand for long games like Parasite Eve, you can't do I get. But mm. I think for snappier games... I think there'd be no harm in doing an occasional live fucking run through of them. I think it'd be entertaining as hell. I think it'd be more fun than just sitting here talking over. Oh, he knows exactly what he's doing. We're just watching the game. I would prefer to go, ah, Jonathan, you fucking idiot. What are you doing? And then you fuck it up. I think it's more. Ent- <laughs> ah, pal, what if I-, I think it's more entertaining for everybody. Like, that's, don't forget that's to get this sense. because if you don't get this fucking item, you're fucked. Yeah, exactly. I I think it's more entertaining that way where we're all watching it. It's a live all, collab. We're all putting our brains together, going, "Oh fuck, what do we do here? Fuck." I think it's more entertaining. I think it's I think it's more fun. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. You're the boss. Fuck you. No, no, it's it, it's good <laughs> feedback and uh, and well. Like depending on where we pick, there we might we might be able to work something out here. So, so Foxy, are you swayed either way between your pick or Dennis's pick? Which is the most intriguing to you? To be honest, uh, I'm more leaning towards the yikes. Big mm. A for the content. B because it's something I've never seen. Yeah, uh, snap. I I'm only familiar with with Night Trap. Okay, I'm not familiar with any of them. So, and I haven't. Uh, let me clarify. I haven't played Night Trap, but I've seen. Yeah, for so much on Night Trap, I feel like I played it. I, Whereas, like with the with my my side with the blood side, like it, like I've seen all three of them. I've seen them be played a million times, so it just I, I'd rather see something different. So, so if mm. that happens to be questionable content, then yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's okay. Then. All right, fair fair enough then. So, so yeah, we're gonna go with uh, with Yikes for this one. So, just as you were talking there, I've done a little bit of check there to see. What I think is the best candidate for a live session. So, okay. So, Dennis, seeing that your collection won, I'll give you a choice. What would be your preference for a live session? If we were to get the two, the three of us in the same room together, um, and we play through. Oh, one in of the these... same room. Oh. Or do you mean on Zoom? Or do you mean in? No, no. I, I, it would be better off if we're actually in the same room because solely because the you guys will actually like experience a tape delay over Zoom. It's that it's very minor, but it's like you'll be kind of reacting like a few, like a second or two before me, and it depends on if I can actually. No, don't <laughs> go in that room. <laughs> could 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 we use something like OBS or something like that? A different kind of stream. Yeah, OBS is an option. I, I'll I'll certainly look into it absolutely. Um, but we'll, look, we can talk about that. Out, like yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But 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 well, my question would be, what would you like to start? Okay, like we'll, we can work out the logistics if we can do a live session. Happy days. Okay. What of the three would you like to start with? Well, you see, I can't comment on the other two because I don't know them well enough. I know Night Trap. Mm-hmm. And I know, like, you see, the other two I'm sure will be entertaining, but I know Night Trap will be entertaining. Okay. Because I also know it's a pretty snappy game. I know we we could probably get that done pretty fucking quick. Um, Very quickly, if you know um, but no, we won't know what we're doing. That's the fucking point, yeah. right? Okay, we're not doing any fucking walkthroughs, right? Um, but I um, I also think it's very fucking entertaining um, to mm. do. So I'm going to say Night Trap, but on the caveat that if you if you're confident on one of the others, I'll 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 listen to your input on it because I'm not familiar with the other two. Okay, no, um, but, but I think I think Night Trap is uh, if it's the one you know, it, we can either start or end on it. I think that's fair enough, um, and yeah, we can always work out the log- logistics of the other two beyond that, um. So yeah, that 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 works out. So we'll, yeah, we'll we'll probably start off with Night Trap then if that suits everybody. Again, but uh, uh, yeah, at, beyond the point, uh, beyond the when the camera stops, we might change plans. But working plan at the moment is the is the is the play Night Trap and hopefully. Um, in a kind of live to semi live basis, so we shall wait. We shall we shall work on that and see how we get on. Um, so until then, look forward to the next um few months of yikes. 
Because believe me, <laughs> there is some shit coming you are not going to be expecting. And Hell yeah. Hell so, yeah. Until then, we'll see you next time in the game gallery. Hold on to your butts. Bye.